Hey guys, I am coming to you from California where I'm working here this week. Um, and this video is about the Funko cereals because, well, it's about time I really talk about these things because they've been out for a while. And unless you're living under a rock and avoiding pop culture, and so do all of your friends, you have definitely seen these cereals around um, and probably been like, huh, is that a good cereal? How big is that minifigure? Well, let's go over that all right now. Give me some of that. So I believe I first started seeing these cereals in early 2018. I saw them announced online and I was like, wow, that's really, really interesting because there's about to be a billion new cereals. Cause you guys know how many of those vinyl minifigs are out. Just like there's one for literally everything. And I was like, wow, there's gonna be so many new cereals that it's gonna be insanely hard to keep up. Um, but then I learned that all the cereals, basically the same exact cereal, they're Fruit Loop clones, more or less, they're just fat O's. Um, that are, have an insane amount of food coloring and they all go along with to whatever whatever figurine or licensed product they come with. Now, I personally got four boxes of this stuff gifted to me. Three of the four of those were <laughs> given to me by my friend Adam, so big shout out to Adam. Thank you so much. He's a, a really great friend and loves giving gifts and while um, I'm not always so good at that, I really do appreciate gifts like this because it makes my day. Now, out of those four boxes, when I actually opened them to try and get footage for this video, I encountered stuff like this. Look, I just pulled this bag out of the box and there, it's, there's a giant hole in it. Which is probably the reason why these pieces are all stuck together. I had to punch it to like break them up. It's just like the cereal isn't meant to be cereal. It's meant to be a collector's item because they clearly can't even seal their bags. 50% out of four boxes to me is a, a scary high number. Um, and because of that, I want to start off right now by saying I cannot recommend this cereal to anyone as a cereal because I don't think it's really meant to be something that you buy to consume and enjoy over breakfast. Really what it is is a cool cereal box collector item with a cool minifig inside. So if you want the box and you want the minifig and you don't really care about eating the cereal, then totally go out and get this. But it's not a cereal gonna, you're going to enjoy because, uh, well, you just can't guarantee the quality of this stuff. And I wonder if that's because Funko makes figurines and not cereal and whoever they paid to make the cereal portion just is not very good at it. I can tell you that right now, they're just not good. Another thing that actually was dispelled for me anyway was that the cereal, while I thought initially was all the same flavor, totally was not. About three of the cereals tasted exactly the same, but then I tried the Pac-Man cereal, which was very, very yellow, and also it was the most fruity cereal I've ever tasted. So fruity, it was good. Overpowering, but good. And I was like, wait a minute. Are these other cereals just lacking the flavor because those bags weren't sealed right and like, you know, something happened, like moisture got in or whatever, like, cause um, they were kind of stale, they stick together and it's just like, most of the experience is terrible. But the Pac-Man cereal, I was like, no, I could see myself eating this, but that was 25% of the, th the four boxes. So, hmm, don't recommend it. Now the mini figs are really, really mini. They say not actual size on the box because what they mean is smaller than the picture. You see it here next to the bowls. Um, they're pretty small, like a fit in your spoon. You definitely could swallow this if you were trying. Uh, I don't know why I said that, but you know what? Uh, you could. Now the O's themselves have an insane amount of food coloring to match whatever is on the front of the box. And when you eat them, I swear to God, your tongue will be exactly that color for quite some time. Now they have a ton of these cereals. You got anything from Rick and Morty, which I think are really cool. I would love those. All the way to Golden Girls and so many little things in between. Just like, wow. Now, I don't know when they're going to stop producing this cereal, but for now, they're here. And for now, it seems like they're just going to continue to produce more and more. So if you want a cool collector's item with an awesome box and a cool minifig and some O's that match the color scheme, then this, I think, is totally for you. I would recommend. But if you're just looking to try a new cereal, um, I can't guarantee the quality of this product and neither can Funko, apparently. So just be cautious. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is my video on the Funko cereals for now. If there's anything important or interesting that comes up, from here on out, I will totally let you know. But up until then, this is it. Okay? Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you have not, and we'll talk about this later. Okay? Bye.